Hi there, welcome to Motion and Product. My name is Michael, and in today's episode, we're gonna actually answer a viewer's question. So today's question comes from Franco. How can I make the data refresh on the page? Like when I'm on the site, the prices are not the actual prices, they just stay like that. And that's not how prices work in real life. They update and change over time. And it'd be really annoying if you had to press refresh every time to see the live prices. So what we're gonna do today is actually show you how to use Bubble and the workflow methods in there to update the prices automatically for you. So you can just leave the page there and watch it refresh. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it. If you watched uh, my previous video where I showed you how to update crypto prices using an API, um, if you haven't watched that yet, you can click the link up above. But in that video, I showed you how to connect an API and to display the prices. And what we had there before was actually taking a look at the repeating group here. And if I double click on this, we had the type of content to be coined and the data source it was data from an external API. And we called it from CoinGecko. So just like that. Now, if we wanted to update the our prices all the time, there's a, to auto refresh, which means calling or getting the latest prices. You can't do it from here because there's nothing in here that says repeat every five seconds or every 10 seconds. There's nothing in here to actually control that. What we need to do is use Bubbles workflow um, tools to get us to that end result. So what we need to do is actually what we had before, and we're just gonna remove that completely. So the type of content from the repeating group is still a coin, but the data source we're gonna leave blank and use the workflow to populate that. So if I close this, and, I, and what we're gonna use to create the workflow is to use uh, a workflow event called do every five seconds. This uh, do every five seconds allows you to do some kind of action um, every five seconds, like it says. Um, you can change this time to be 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 60 seconds, it's all good. And if we go into plugins, what we need to do first is add something to force Bubble to update itself. So let me have a share in here. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now that we're in plugins is take a look at the existing call for coins. So initially we had this um, API call here, but what we want to do next is add a header. So adding a header I've already added here. It's just a field called date and the value is empty by default and we're going to set that to optional so what this is going to so what this is going to do is allow us to set the value of the header to have a new value um, which will be a time in milliseconds um, and when bubble sees this it'll say hey this looks like a new request i'll go make that request if this thing's not here um, Bubble will think that this is an existing request that was from before, so they'll just retrieve the previous data or um, not make that request because it's already been done. So we'll jump into here, and what we can see is um, what we want to do now is the first step is to go through and set up a display list step. So the way you can find that is to go to element actions and under there you should see display list if there's a repeating group on your page. So what we did before, we removed the data source um, from the UI side and we're gonna set it up in the workflow area here. So I click on this, I say the element is the repeating group coin and I'm gonna look at the data source, which is coins here. And this is where it gets interesting, where I take the current time and I format it as this cryptic looking text uh, time format. 
but this allows us to express the time in milliseconds. So if, if you want to see how that's done, um, you can just type in. So if you want to see how that's done, I'm just going to click in here, insert here. We can current date time. Oops. So we're going to set current date time more formatted as. Uh, where does that go? And then formatted as. You can look in here. So leave its customer includes. Yep. So there's the ISO setting. And then that sets that up. So I'm just going to delete that because we don't need that anymore. So I'm just going to delete it because we don't need that anymore. Um, and then this forces um, Bubble to make the refresh, um, the new call every 10 seconds. And over here, I've just created an alert message to show that, hey, these are the data updating just for our purposes. And the other thing that you need to do is that this starts every 10 seconds, but when the page is initially loaded, you want to load your initial list with uh, with this display list. So if we take a look at this, put it all together now, it's going to update the page. And it looks like this. Um, I've added something to uh, display the time over here so that you can see that every 10 seconds you see data updated. After six, um, you'll You'll see some prices change over time. If you leave this long enough, the prices are not fluctuating that much at the moment. And I'm not 100% sure why, but um, yeah, the prices are coming through. Um, so you can debug this uh, step by step to see what's going on there. But yeah, that's how you can set up um, bubble workflows to update automatically. There we go. We answered a viewer's question. If you want to ask questions in the future, feel free to click like and subscribe so that if you ask that question, you'll get notified when uh, I respond to them. Thank you for sticking to the end and hope to see you next time where we can make better products together. Bye.